About Bloodbeard. You were his pirate familiar, right? His wingman, yes. How is he? He's still dead. Ah, that's so like him. Bye. Curie's Tea Shop an authentic, non-corporate tea shop experience in the heart of Shantytown. No, you should never steal an A-board. They can snap shut on your fingers and flap wildly in high winds. I like thatched roofs, though they are at the greatest risk of burnination. I should use the door. Heaps of crockery. And never was a crockery better crocked. They don't look like they're red very often. Artisan and tidiness adds a dash of the bohemian. It's an old station clock. It ain't working and I'm not going to fix it. The waitress looks pretty gloomy. Ahem. Ahem. Oi! Yeah, what do you want? What kind of drinks do you do? <sighs> Cinnamon cappuccino, slimline cocoa shots, sober joe, hemp tea with antioxidants, or minty double italiano sea salt frappes. What about a glass of water? I don't know what you mean. I'm interested in one of your drinks. What's a cinnamon cappuccino? It's basically tepid goat milk. You want one? Yep. Thanks. I'm interested in one of your drinks. What's a slimline cocoa shot? It's a super healthy cocoa concentrate, without all the fattening sugar that makes the taste bearable. You want one? Yep. Thanks. I'm interested in one of your drinks. What's a sober joe? It's the ultimate hangover cure. Don't drink it if you're planning to operate heavy machinery. Or sleep any time this month. You want one? Yep. Thanks. What are you reading? Poetry. It must be good. It is. Who's the poet? Oh, you probably haven't heard of him. Try me. William Willow Wick. Did he do the one about the cloud? No. I knew you wouldn't know who he is. So, who is William Willowick? He's basically the world's number one romantic poet. He's amazing. And he hasn't even seduced any of his relatives yet. Plus, he's totally dishy. Check out his picture and swoon some dandies. Wow. Lock up his sisters. He's been my 100% favourite poet ever since I heard about him this weekend. Have you heard of Solomon Spry? No. Hmm, I guess he's too cutting edge and hip for you. <laughs> what? Who is he? He's just this totally, you know, amazing folk singer, love idol prophet guy. He's just totally, you know, you know? Totally. You should be a fan of his. Wait a minute. I've never even heard him sing. And if he's so cool, how come he's never appeared in Swoon Some Dandies? Swoon Some Dandies? Swoon Some Dandies has pictures of all the hottest new stars. It sounds dreadful. It's the South Sea's only hourly fashion and culture magazine. The next edition should be here soon. As long as the bloody postman gets the address right this time. You should hear Solomon Spry sing. Come on, let's go. I'm at work. So? So I'm busy working at my job. Not following. Leave me alone. You won't be so keen on your job once you hear Solomon Spry sing. Is this your tea shop? No, it's my dolphinarium. Show starts at three o'clock. Front row may get wet. A sarcasm is the lowest form of wit, Miss Curie. Not as low as repeating things other people said. Do you want me to call in your tab, Periwig? 
<laughs> Good one, my dear. The bonnest of maids. See ya. Whatever. She looks smart. I'm Nellie. What's your name? I'm Professor Morgan. What brings you here, Nellie? I'm trying to make a name for myself as a buccaneer. In a tea shop? I might need some caffeine. As it happens, I know a thing or two about pirates. What do you think of this place? Well, the coffee tastes like milky ash. The patrons are vacuous posers. And you have to hawk your gold teeth just to buy a gluten-free biscotti. Pretty average, then. What do you know about pirates? Almost everything. I'm the senior lecturer in piratical studies at West Ham University. Wow! In fact, I'm compiling the Encyclopedia Piratanica. The Encyclopedia Piratanica? Will you put me in it? I'm an excellent pirate. What's your name? Nellie Kutalot. The pirate who plundered an entire shipment of baked beans? No, that's Nellie Toot. Never mind, I'm really famous. I'm sorry, I can't put you in the book. Why can't you put me in the encyclopedia? I really need to impress Justice Grote with what a mint pirate I am. I couldn't if I wanted to. The first volume, R to Cutlass, has been stolen. Stolen? Have you reported it? I tried to, but someone took my appointment with Justice Grote. Oh, right. Who stole the encyclopedia? I don't know, but that fatuous ninny at the window knows something. Yes, he does. But he won't tell, the bloated pufferfish. Not a squeak. Listen, if I get your book back, will you put me in it? If you get that smug sophist to help you, you'll deserve it. What's up between you and that guy? Beating a lexicographer at Scrabble is not a good idea. He's never forgiven me. How childish. And my victory dance didn't even last that long. Have you ever heard of Bloodbeard? William? Yes, I used to know him quite well. Wow, I bet he was amazing. Was he amazing? Well... How amazing? Let's talk about something else, okay? Um, okay. Enjoy your coffee. Take care. Ah, the sunken, hooded eyes of the intellectual. Ahoy, I'm Nelly. Welcome, welcome, bienvenue. Why are you talking like a hotel? Words, my dear. For me, Dr. Periwig, words are a passion. What's so great about words? I delight in them. In interlocution, in quill and ink, in etymological lineages as old as the skies. I catch words as they flutter from the lips and I pin them like butterflies. So you're... Writing a dictionary, yes. Jeez, you made it sound like it was interesting. All right, Doc. What happened to Morgan's encyclopedia? Wouldn't you like to know? Obviously, yes. Well, you scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. No way am I touching your back. It's a metaphor. What do you want in exchange for the encyclopedia? A little field research. But I don't know anything about little fields. Here is a list of odd words. Nautical obscurios, if you will. I think I know what they mean, but I need to be sure. Come back to me with the definitions, and I'll spill the beans. Okay, and after that, will you tell me who stole the encyclopedia? Uh, yes. What's your problem with Professor Morgan? Simply that she is a pseudo-intellectual philistine. She says she beat you at Scrabble. She cheated. And I was sick from riding my velocipede. And actually, it never happened anyway. I might know what those words mean. Oh, yes. Then please tell me, what is the meaning of grockle silver? A slim silver knife. Next, please define hobshank. Wooden armour covering the upper thigh. And what does glossy mean? A crewman who polishes guns and metalwork. Now, can you tell me what oak famble means? A concealed lookout post in a tree. Finally, what does Sally Packet mean? A willful young woman. Your definitions don't match mine at all. 
I suggest a little more research. A bay window looking out onto the copse behind the tea shop. I'm prepared to throw myself out the window if need be, but I'll probably just use the door for now. The post seems to have arrived. Hey, this has been delivered to the wrong address. It's the tea shop girl's copy of Swoonsome Dandies. Swiped. Ah, the tavern. Resting place of the weary traveller. It smells of toilet. The pub's shingle. I like a good shingle. I just like saying shingle. Shingle, shingle, shingle. It does look fun to swing on. But I've got a job to do. I can see a model ship through the window. Well, blow me down. Nelly Cootalot. Captain Rehab! Bob and Friday! Nelly, have a drink on the house. It's Barman Friday, an old friend. This is the scurvy Captain Rehab. So scurvy, even seagulls keep their distance. Nice place you've got here. I swear of you to say. It's a waterlogged dump, but we've gotten used to it. What drinks are you serving? Anything you can wish for. Liar! Paul Troon! That is to say, drinks are off. Oh, blizzards and woe! What's wrong with the drinks? Uh, the cellar flooded last night. All the barrels are still there, but their labels washed right off. Curse it be Neptune for drowning my booze! I can't tell which one is white ale and which one is Captain Caustic's porthole cleaner. I could help sort out the cellar. You reckon? Yeah, I do this sort of thing all the time. Well, if you can do it, you certainly make rehab happy. The trapdoor's just over there. Can you remember anything that might help me with the barrels? Well, the barrels down there are Dubious Green, Sour Jim Special, Infamous Souse, Old Misogynist's Tipple, White Ale, and of course, Captain Caustic's Porthole Cleaner. Dubious Green usually ships in a trademark green cask and smells of sandals. I reckon the black barrel smells of oak, so it's sure to be Sour Jim Special. Infamous Souse always ships in plain brown barrels. Old misogynist Tipple has an excellent nose with undertones of shame. And Captain Caustic's porthole cleaner smells minty fresh. Oh, I wrote down everything I could remember here. Good luck. See you Friday. I mean, goodbye. Not see you on Friday. Yeah, I understood, Nelly. Bye. Old blunderbusses. Blunder by? It would be easier to shoot my way out of my problems. But if pirates start using guns... What's next? An oil-burning lamp from back in the day. They were mainly used for setting barns on fire. Can't reach it. Don't want it. How have you been? Swashing, buckling, the usual. You? Buzz, rescuing, the usual. <laughs> it's good to see you. How did you end up here? Ah, it'd be a long and boring tale of adventure. Friday drank a keg of alfalfa sour mash. You tried to ride that owl. The point is, we're here and ready to snipe from the sidelines of your quest. You do have a quest, don't you? Of course I have a quest. Baron Widebeard is after Bloodbeard's treasure and he's kidnapped the birds of Vogel Island too. The crap scallion. I need to charter a ship off this barnacle and stop him. What are you drinking? L lemonade. <clears throat> what? Lemonade. Lemonade? Are you on the wagon ship? No. <laughs> the bar is... is... We are temporarily unable to serve Rehab's preferred white ale. It's a calamitism. What's that about white ale? The finest draft in the seven seas. 
I have nailed a priceless dreadnought coaster to the mast. That collectible coaster ghost, the first man who brings me a white ale. Or woman. Won't you just give me the coaster? I love collecting collectible things. Nay, not unless you bring me a white ale. I've given my word, and what am I if not an honest man? You told me you won Liar of the Year in 89. I, I made that up. I'm actually very honest. The ale! The white ale! What's the crack with Van Zandt? Longshanks? He's the lowest of the low. A respectable crook. He don't like me much. Good. Stay away from him, you'll do fine. I need your help with obscure pirate jargon. What do these words mean? Hold up, Nelly. My brain don't work like that. I can't just cast in and hook something out like a... Like a... Like a casty hook thing. I have to be in flow. Telling a story like... See ya! Ahoy! There's a coaster on the floor. It looks like the one nailed to the mast, except it has a picture of a little tugboat. These are old pub pictures. All the blokes in the village smoking pipes on a wall, that sort of thing. Totally hipsterish. No time to sit, I'm on duty. There's a coaster nailed to that mast. It has a picture of the fearsome dreadnought warship on it. Uh, 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 get off that! That coastal goes to whoever can get me a pint of the white ale. Sebastian, go to rehab. No, no, no. What's your take on Barman Friday? I like the cut of his jib. Hmm. When did I last have my jib cut? I don't think Sebastian can help me here. What do you think of Gusty Nethers? He's either a rough diamond or a very smooth coprolite. Looks like some kind of trader. Hello, what's happening? My name's Lucas. I'm selling this fine leather. Hey, that's enough of that. That's the second biggest. That's it, get out. It's old Gusty Nethers. Ahoy! How did you get ashore? I washed up on Vogel Island. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm a naturally buoyant fellow, as you can see. But my mate Lucas picked me up in his jolly boat. So, why did you go AWOL? Well, as it happens, I'm something of a businessman. I had a few transactions to, uh, transact. Care to elaborate on that? Not really. Do you like it in the howls? No, it's not a bad place. If you don't mind a bit of corruption and double dealing, check out Chinatown if you want some good food. See you around. Aye, aye. Some kind of trapdoor. That leads to the cellar. It's a paper lantern. I better not move it. I need it to see. It's all damp and sticky. Several wet, wet labels. Another label. This one's stuck to the wall. Smells strongly of sandals. Ew.
The red and black barrels smell sort of like oaky shame. The brown and yellow barrels smell kind of like minty leather. Minty leather sounds like an Edwardian gentleman. I say, is that old minty leather? Minty! Fancy a spot of lawn tennis before elevenses? It smells sort of like cherry, plus a big whiff of dank cellar barrel. That's it. All the barrels are correctly labelled now. Oh, stellar work, Nelly. Bless you, bless you. The Dreadnought Coaster is all yours. Thanks. I think I've earned this crappy beer mat. Can you tell me a story using obscure pirate jargon? Can a top metal splice in a scissor wind? Back in the 70s, I was first mate sailing from the Barbary coast up to Peru. They had beaches littered with fool's gold and grockle silver. And rubes would come from all over to dig up that worthless junk. Our ship was a sally packet, still damp from the cheap cider that launched her. Go on. The captain was a queer cove. Men said he dabbled in black magic. Said his wooden leg was a hob shack made from witch's wood. Said he carried out forbidden rituals to make himself rich. Creepy. For a year or two we was happy, helping folks run their wild goose chase. But the captain grew darker by degrees, never leaving his cabin full of grimoires. And then what happened? Well, one night we was woken by a dread howling. A hellhound loose on the ship! Gasp! A black dog, wild eye and foaming maw. Someone had to shoot the beast. The lookout was the only sober man, but he couldn't fire a musket. He had oak fambles, having lost his hand in a lacrosse accident. So? So, it fell to me to shoot the creature, a black dog, in pitch black night. I found the musket balls and black powder, and I took my shots. Bang, bang, bang! I missed each one. Oh! I had no musket balls left. Then what? The old cook popped his glossy out of the socket and loaded it into the musket. Bang! And the dog fell dead. Poor thing! Poor devil! Cookie never took that glossy back. Called it the evil eye. We slung the hound overboard and searched for the captain. No sign in the cabin, no sign below deck. Would I tell you one thing that's as true as my boots? Yes? That black dog had a wooden leg. Ooh. That's enough story for now. Okay. See ya. Ahoy! Bye! A thingy on stilts. I don't want to climb up the thingy. A pair of drunken angels. They don't look in the mood for talking. There's a conch shell next to those sleeping drunkards. This shell is next to the snoring guys. And the one I found sounds like it's snoring. Time for an experiment. Hey, wake up, you lousy drunks. <laughs> Of course. These conch shells must be Strombus Walkay Talkay, also known as shell phones. Always a handy thing to have.
um, I'm just going to leave this shell here. Keep playing, just don't kick it or anything. Are you bootlegging my music? Uh, yes. Cool. Nancy's hip to all the latest grooves, don't you know, Daddy-O? Stop that right now. I like Professor Morgan, don't you? Why don't you just make her your pirate familiar instead of me? What? Sebastian, are you jealous? No. What do you think of Dr. Periwig? If you look up the word pompous in the dictionary... What happens? Uh... Nancy's magazine, Swoonsome Dandies. I've stuck Solomon Spry's face on the front. Hey, check this out. Who's that? Oh, it's only Solomon Spry on the front cover of Swoonsome Dandies. OMG, he's dreamy. Oh, your G, he certainly is. But I have to hear his music to know if he has a poetic soul. Not superficial. Hey, listen to this. Private Air Pudding was out of luck, sailing on the ocean in a rubber duck. Took her by the shop, beat the barber's dad, and the great white shark. Cool, who is head. that? Oh, it's Solomon sure Spry, the latest craze everyone's talking about. The guy from Swoons and Dandies. He's great. Where can I find him? He's playing outside the courthouse, right now. I'm there. Hey, you guys. Want to steal some napkins? No? Whatever. Help me, self-service drinks machine. You're my only hope. What drink should I get? Salty Malty Italian flip-flops. I might know what those words mean. Oh, yes. Then please tell me, what is the meaning of grockle silver? A mineral often mistaken for silver. Next, please define hobshank. A wooden leg under an enchantment or curse. And what does glossy mean? Pirate's glass eye. Now, can you tell me what oak famble means? A wooden replacement for a lost hand. Finally, what does Sally Packet mean? A ship on its first voyage. Yes, your research confirms my own in every respect. Marvellous work. Now tell me where Morgan's encyclopedia is. Bien sûr. I saw the thief steal the book. Who was it? Male or female? I couldn't tell, but it was very hairy. Really? It made its getaway into Calder Copse. Where's that? It's just behind us. There's a narrow pathway hidden behind the tavern. You'll find it if you look. A bay window looking out onto the copse behind the tea shop. I didn't notice before, but there's a scrubby path behind the pub. A rope ladder up to the treehouse. The ladder is rolled up. I can't get to it from down here. Oi, Sebastian! Yes, Nelly? See what you can do with that rope ladder. Yes, ma'am. Good work. Trilby, wait! Of course! My old friend Trilby the cat burglar is the thief. But what would a cat want with all this junk? 
It's a tin of Moggy's Bone Meal Delight. Now only 10% asbestos. I'm amazed the cat burglar was able to buy and open this meat-like food product all on its own. I'm not hungry. It's a picture of Justice Groat with a rusty knife in it. Can't see why the cat burglar would hate Groat so much. Or how he could be so good at knife throwing. I better not touch it. DNA evidence, etc. Some well ugly cup. I'd better not. Ah, the pianola. For people who like pianos, but not that much. Hmm, a handful of early Modigliani's and El Greco's. I bet they're worth a truckload of goats. Rosebud. Is that supposed to be Dan Brown? Look at all the glistening, glittering, golden treasures. I can't take the treasures. They belong to whoever stole them. Looks like this thief stole everything. This priceless antique cat litter must be very valuable. On second thoughts, I think it's just normal cat litter. This must be the stolen encyclopedia. This is the encyclopedia, all right. Now I just need Professor Morgan to put in a bit about how great I am. Here's your encyclopedia. Well done, Nelly. Thank you for restoring it to me. Nay nee bother. Now, if you could see your way clear to writing about how mint I am? Of course. Thanks. He's busking. Busking is a less profitable alternative to staying at home. How's the muse working out? Terrible. She wants me to be something I ain't. I ain't the messiah. I ain't even a folk singer. But... <sighs> I'm gonna ditch the acoustic thing and go steam-powered. Shut up. You owe me a folk song. Let's hear it. Well, a deal's a deal, I suppose. Now the greatest pirate to ride the waves is the one who helpless bird folk saves. Nelly Kudla, that's her name, deserving of her worldwide fame. I can't emphasize that enough. Tell your friend. Now just keep singing that for a bit. Oops! About that rapier. I told you before, I only release them if we're under attack. And right now... I see nothing but a little tug. See ya! Oh, oh, oh. You should check your telescope. I just checked it. We're under siege by the Dreadnought. Raise the alarm, lower the lifeboats, everyone to battle stations. Relax, relax. I'll deal with all that, but I'll need that rapier. Yes, arm the women and children first.
This golden rapier is perfect for the bird detector. Take it, and God speed you to safety. I feel a bit bad about fooling that old geezer, but on the other hand, shiny sword. What do you think of Gross? That old duffer has no idea what's going on under his nose. Yes? I beat Van Zandt! Oh, really? Can you present any hard evidence? Um, hold on. Look, it's Van Zandt's edition of Amputation. He smashed it in a childish tantrum after I outmaneuvered him with my tactics. Well, that does appear to be a rage smash. It seems I underestimated your tactical abilities. Get in! However, I am still not certain you are privateer material. I remain to be convinced whether your great deeds are more than merely words. Not only that, I have yet to see whether you are truly loved by my people. Check out this book. It's a serious academic text recording my heroic deeds. That's the kind of heavyweight big shot you're dealing with. Very impressive, young lady. However, I am still not certain you are privateer material. I have yet to see whether you are truly loved by my people. I'd better return the encyclopedia. Hey, listen to this. Now the greatest pirate to ride the waves is the one who helpless bird folk saves. Nelly that's a name deserving of That's right, it's a folk song about yours truly. That's how loved I am by the hoi polloi around here. Very well, I see that you are loved by the people of the Howls. Excellent. Nelly Coutalot, I would be honoured to count you among my privateers. So, will you give me an exit permit? Yes, Nelly. You now represent the guttering Howls by sea or air and you may come and go as you please. What should we do now? You're officially a privateer now. Ugh, this feels even worse than when I was in the Merchant Navy. Any other ideas? Captain Lear's picture showed the harbour ten years ago. Maybe there's a lead there. Yeah. And that grease monkey wanted a bottle of Mama Fish Cakes to fix up the airship. What else? Well, that sword will make a good rod thingy. And we should try to find a big metal dish. I agree. <laughs>